One of the strangest things about moving to the USA was finding Americans eat dessert after the entree. At Buckingham Palace, you eat pudding after the entree and then dessert after the pudding. Confused? Let me explain. Pudding to the royal family is apple pie, ice cream, chocolate mousse, everything that the Americans call dessert. But to the royal family, dessert is just fruit. And sometimes the queen will miss the pudding course altogether and just have the entree and then some dessert fruit, just like this. Now, obviously we didn't send all of this fruit up to the queen when she was on her own. That would be a waste. What we sent instead was a small dessert dish like this one here. Look at this one. It was a gift to the Queen, encrusted in diamonds, rubies, sapphires and emeralds. Absolutely gorgeous. It was only state banquets and formal dinner parties that we'd actually set up dessert fruit like this. It'd be served on incredible plates like the Rockingham China, the, the mice and the, the Crown Derby. And every single plate was just priceless. We can only carry two dishes at a time in case we drop one. I mean, Imagine that. The fruit came from the local purveyors, but uh, things like apples when they were in season would come from Sandringham and the peaches would come from Windsor Castle. We always served to the Queen whatever was in season. It's what she liked best. When we had a state banquet at Buckingham Palace or Windsor Castle, the purveyors would bring out almost double the amount of fruit we needed so that we could pick through each one to make sure there were no blemishes and that each one was perfect and every single piece of fruit on the table was right. Everything was about attention to detail. The leaves that we used to decorate the dishes all came from Windsor Castle and they had to be polished by hand every one and then cut the perfect size so that they looked and complemented all the fruit on the table. The grapes were all cut into little bunches so you could just help yourself to one or two. And these were always the most popular for new people coming to banquets. They didn't really know what to eat. So you could just take these and pop a grape into your mouth while carrying on a conversation. The bananas were pulled into individual pieces and then you had to trim off the edges, the stalks, just to make them all look pretty. Everyone had to be the same size and all looking perfect. And no blemishes again. It was impolite to eat a banana like a monkey at Buckingham Palace. You're supposed to eat it with a fruit knife and fork. Trim off the edges. Cut down the center. Open it up. Put the end pieces back in the skin. And then cut a few rings and you can continue the conversation. Apples were a little harder to eat at the table. Take them and then cut them. And cut them into little bite-sized pieces while talking. Each of the apples had to have the stalks taken out. And then, once we'd done that, we had to polish every one. A really nice clean cloth and polish them up until they shined. It was almost like cleaning shoes. Of course, your fingers were getting dirty and sticky, so there was always a finger bowl nearby. Now, at some banquets, some of the guests actually thought this was for drinking. Seeing pineapple on the table must have been real daunting until you saw how the queen eats pineapple. Pineapples, you could test their freshness the stalks at the top, just give them a little tug, and if they come out easily, then you know that the pineapple's ripe. Next, you just slice down into the top. <coughs> no, not you. That's not a real pineapple, is it? And then carefully run a knife down the side of the pineapple and go all the way around right to the bottom until you've made the perfect circle. After that, you make a hole in the bottom and carefully cut the full circle of the pineapple so that you're able to release it when you push your fork in there. And then, hopefully, it should come out as perfect as this one. Next, you slice this into rings 
And with a little ring cutter, you can take out the center, the little hard core in the middle. After that, you place it back into the pineapple and put the lid on. This will surprise the guests when they open it up. What are you doing here? It looks like they knew you were coming. There you go. I'll get you a fruit knife and fork. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below. I'll see you again soon.